what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers welcome i'm barboss if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button below so i was driving in my 2010 honda civic and it started overheating i got up to about three quarters of the way i pulled over and i checked it out i've never had problems with this car i've owned this car for about three four years already So this is what I found what the problem is. I've never had issues with this, but it seems not this hose, but the bottom radiator hose, as you can see, this clamp is way different than this clamp. This is the OEM one. That one is not OEM. So basically it was starting to leak from the top. Another thing that I noticed is that this hose doesn't belong to this car. When I got this car, whoever sold it to me replaces hose with a different hose. They cut it on top and they slapped it in here. And it's lasted three to four years already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace both of these hoses. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna change the oil to this car. I'm gonna go ahead and order some eBay hoses and we'll do a review on that so I'm gonna go ahead and order those hoses and within two or three days those hoses should be here and I'll continue this video what's up guys so it's been a few days and check it out this is what I ordered this is straight up from eBay um, G plus performance parts came with both hoses the only bad part that I don't like are these little hose clamps and I don't like them because of all these little things that they have right here these little holes on the side when you start to tie in those, they usually start to pinch whatever holes you're, you're tightening. So that's the reason why I don't like to use these, but we're gonna go ahead and use them either way. So I'm gonna drain out the radiator fluid. I'm also gonna drain the oil out of this car. And after that, we'll go ahead and take these off. All right, so I went ahead and I removed the little butterfly thing from the radiator, the little plug, and all the coolant came out. I have a huge mess under here because it didn't come out as planned, straight into there. It came out and it was just a waterfall everywhere. I did take off the cap also, which didn't really help. It did help with the flow, but it didn't help with the fact that I needed it all to go into that container that's under there. I'm gonna remove this cover. It looks like there's little clips on here. Two clips. Maybe a third clip. Maybe this clip needs to come off. All right, so there was another clip over here. All right, so we're gonna remove this clamp, that's right here, and this clamp, and that should release our top hose. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I slid this one down and I popped this one out and this one's kind of a pain. So what I'm doing is, so I'm just pinching it with, with this and there you go. And there it is. 
so I'm definitely gonna save that hose so there really isn't anything really wrong with that hose itself it's just this bottom hose look at that all right so I got that hose clamp loose popped it out look at this edging of this hose somebody definitely trimmed this right here all right that bottom hose was kind of a pain to remove but I got it off and I'm comparing these side to side and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to trim this I guess we'll find out because look at this one when this one's next to this one it's a little bit different just the angle of it at the ends all right so I went ahead and I wiped all these entrances up with the uh, paper towel this one and this one and now I'm gonna go ahead and mock up the bottom hose this one and see how it fits all right so I got the bottom hose on um, I'm about to check the top hose right now It looks like it's gonna go something like like from here to there like that all right I'm gonna go ahead and put it on mock it up and then if it looks good I'll go ahead and tie in the clamps down all right so I went ahead and I put the clamps down and it looks good I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up and see if I have any leaks right now coming out of these hoses so I went ahead and I put fluid in and I bled the system. There's no more bubbles coming out. It looks like everything is completely full. I got the heater going on inside to try to get all that fluid to run in. And I'm not gonna put this cover back on. I'm gonna leave it off for a few days just in case if I gotta get back in, into uh, any of these hoses. Um, so once again, this is the review on the R18 motor. We will be doing an update on this in a few months to see how they're holding. This is gonna be it for this video. Um, go down and subscribe if you haven't. So I'll catch you out, stay safe, catch you guys later.